Hi, my name's Mad Jack, and I'm going to be bringing you a cornucopia of fun, easy, and safe things to make in your house and play with. Right, hi. Now I'm going to show you how to make papier mache. Now, for this, we're going to be using some plain flour, some warm water, we need a mixing bowl, something to mix with. I'm going to use a fork here. Then we need a balloon. We're going to apply the papier-mâché to that. And we've got a newspaper. Okay, so the first step is to take some of the plain flour and we're going to make a paste. So, now we don't want this too thick. So I'm just going to put a little bit of flour in there. And then we get our water. Give it a good mix, don't worry too much about any lumps. All right, as you can see there, we might need to add a little bit more. Get it mixing as we do it. And then once we've got to the consistency of double cream, something like that, then we know we're gonna have something that will stick properly. Okay. So, as you can see, it's got that kind of consistency. So, now, the next thing we need to do is to rip up a lot of newspaper. We need thin strips, preferably. This can take quite a while, depending on how much you want. Okay, so now that you've ripped up your newspaper, you're gonna need something to apply it to. I'm using a balloon here, so I'll just blow this up. We dip our paper into the flour paste. Just get load in there. Mix it about, make sure both sides are coated nicely. Just put that to the side. Right, and then we can start applying it. So, we need lots of crossways motion, preferably. That way, your structure will be really strong. Papier-mâché can actually be incredibly strong. So there we go, and now across. Now, I'm not using a tablecloth, I would suggest you do at home. This gets very drippy and messy. So we keep going, keep going. Now ideally, if you were doing a balloon, maybe to make a mask or something like that, you would want probably to do three or four layers uh, completely all over the balloon in order to get a really good, strong structure that then you can, um, that you can wear uh, and that will last, um, as I say, amazingly strong if you do that sort of number of layers. Um, so this can take a while. So once you've completed it, you need to let it dry, making sure you're taking off any excess. And you put this aside, it will take probably half a day, something like that, to fully dry. Put it on a radiator or in a, an airing cupboard, something like that. And you will end up with a really strong papier-mâché balloon.